This is Lesson 64, VHDL Example 39, D flip-flops in VHDL. Now in the last two lessons we saw how to implement an edge-triggered D flip-flop using NAND gates, but we know that NAND gates don't really exist in FPGAs. The FPGAs have hundreds or even thousands of flip-flops already built in. So the question is how do we get VHDL to implement these flip-flops in our circuits. Well this is how to do it. Here is an entity called D flip-flop. We have a clock and clear in and D in and Q out. So we make a process called clock and clear in the sensitivity list and then we say if clear equals 1 then Q gets 0. So this is an asynchronous clear because you see if clear changes and it changes to 1 then Q immediately gets set to 0 independently of what the clock is doing. Then we say else if we can say rising edge of clock this means this is a function which means the rising edge of the clock then Q gets D. Well that's just the behavior remember of a D flip-flop. So remember a D flip-flop on the rising edge of the clock Q gets D which is just what we're saying here. So this is all you can, all you need to do in order to implement a D flip-flop. Now this function rising edge of clock will work. It turns out for historical reasons we normally don't uh, use it and in the next lesson we'll see what we usually use to indicate a rising edge of the clock. But let's try simulating this VHDL program to see that it, that it in fact uh, produces a uh, edge trigger D flip-flop. Here's clock, here's clear, notice if clear goes to 1 we get an asynchronous clear, Q goes to 0 no matter what the clock is doing. Otherwise on the rising edge of the clock Q gets D, so here D is 0, D goes to 1 so on the next rising edge of this clock Q gets D, then we have this asynchronous clear which will last until the next rising edge of the clock. D is still 1, so Q goes to 1. Next rising edge of the clock, D is 1, Q is 1. Next rising edge of the clock, D has gone to 0, so Q goes back to 0. So in fact, this will in fact implement then an edge-triggered D flip-flop in VHDL.